Hello, this is Scott Kephart with Quasar Instruments, and today I'm going to talk about how to plumb up a uh, injection uh, valve in an HPLC system. Uh, the typical injection valve will use what's called a two-position six-port injector. Um, I've drawn an uh, example, so you're looking down on the six ports. I'm purposely not labeling the ports because I want you to understand how the injection port works as opposed to simply copying down the numbers because I don't know how the valve is uh, orientated in your system. So the first thing that we're going to do is explain how this works. Um, inside the, uh, the valve, on the rotor, there's channels that are cut within that rotor. Now this is called a six port two position valve. So this would be position one. So we'll draw the solid lines as position one. And then when you switch the valve, it'll switch position two. So the single dotted line, let's call that position two. So right now we're gonna say position one is actually our uh, sample loading position. So we're gonna draw in the sample loop and the sample loop simply goes from a port on one side of the valve to a port directly opposite. Now it really doesn't matter which ports you use for this. It's important to understand how it works. So you can see that this port right here is what is hooked up to our injector. Now that could be a syringe or that could be an auto injector. It doesn't make any difference. And this port right here is going to waste. So when we load our sample, it's going to be pushed through this port, through the rotor, and onto the column. Now, most people, especially in prep HPLC, don't do total column uh, injections. In fact, in my other video, I talk about why you should only fill a sample loop up halfway. So uh, let's say in this sample, we filled it up only to right here. Um, this is common because these injection loops in prep HPLC can get up to uh, 10, 15, 25 mil volumes. So let's say that we have a 25 mil sample loop and we're only injecting 5 mils. When we switch this to the inject position or to inject it onto the column, so this would actually be the load position right here. Position 1 will be load. And position two, we'll inject it onto the column. So we filled up the loop. Now when we go to inject, we don't want to push the sample plug, which is occupying this space right here, all the way through this remainder of the sample loop and onto the column. We want to do what's called back, back flushing the sample loop. So in order to do that, we want to make sure that the liquid from the pump is pushed in this direction. How we do that is we hook this port up to the pump so that when it's switched on or when we go to the uh, inject position the liquid will run this way and it will push the sample plug in this direction through remember we're going through the dotted lines now and out this port which is where we want to hook our column up. So you can see that when you load it, you load in this direction, and when you inject it, it'll back flush the loop onto the column. Thank you for your time, and I hope you found this helpful.